Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday School. This is Miss Marianne. I hope you guys are all doing really well and um, enjoying your summers. We are doing a video because we are not going to be doing in-person Sunday School this week because of the holiday. And I wonder how you are celebrating the July 4th holiday. Are you going to fireworks? Are you going to a parade? Are you in a parade? Oh, I wish I could hear all about it. So for our video today, we are going to look at some verses from the book of Psalms. Psalms is a book in the Old Testament that is a book of songs and poetry. Um, and so these are, some of these are, are things that Jesus might have heard um, being sung when he went to temple, um, which is a very interesting thing, thing to think about. Um, and it is the largest book in the Old Testament. Um, and the one that we are going to uh, look at today is Psalm, uh, the 23rd Psalm. And it is probably one of the most famous set of verses in the Bible. Um, so if you ask your parents, they've probably heard of it. Um, it's called the Shepherd's Psalm. Um, and we are going to look at a story version of this that is got illustrations that are taking these words of the Bible and looking at them in a very different way. Um, that uh, putting them in a more modern context. So I thought that would be interesting to look at today. So before we get going, let us do our opening prayer. I've got my candle here. There we go. And let us take a few uh, couple breaths to get us ready for our prayer and our story today. Loving God, thank you for this time together. Thank you for being our shepherd, for loving us and counting us among your flock. Help us to feel your presence and to serve others. Amen. Get that out of the way. And so this is our book. It's just called Psalm 23, and it is illustrated by Tim Ladwig. And our first page here just has Psalm 23 and a picture their house. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. 
for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I think this one is like the big picture of the front, except it's nighttime. I wonder what you thought about this book. I wonder if anything surprised you in this story. I wonder if you've ever heard this poem before, or maybe parts of it. I wonder if the images in this book help you think about this poem differently than you would have if you had just read the words, or maybe if you've heard it before. I wonder what you think about the idea of God being our shepherd. A shepherd leads their sheep and keeps them safe. So I wonder how God leads us and keeps us safe. I wonder. A shepherd lives among their sheep and I wonder if that metaphor also applies to God. I wonder. I wonder how you would draw or illustrate this poem, if you could. Would you draw a pasture in a park like it did in the book or would you draw something different? What would you draw for a rod and a staff? The shepherd always carries a staff to help the sheep. And in this book, it was someone that was a, 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 a safety patrol that they had, their stick. I wonder what you would draw for that or for other parts of this. Mm, I wonder. And I wonder what you are going to do this week. I hope you find some really fun stuff, and I hope I get to see you soon. Let us do our closing. I'll bring my candle back. And we will do our closing prayer. Loving God, thank you for the times that bring us close to you and to one another. Help us remember that you are always with us. Amen. And I will change this light so the light of Christ can be with you wherever you go and wherever you are light will be there and it will find you when you need it. Blessings to you. Have a great week.